Hello, this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech, talking about the rules of a new format. Myself and several other people in the Seattle area over at Card Kingdom are playing recently called Planeswalker EDH, which is basically a variation on Commander, or EDH, where people build decks and use Planeswalkers as their commanders. Now, I know a lot of other people out there are also experimenting with similar formats. This is not by no means the only way people are playing, and there's a lot of other people who are trying to make something like this work, but this is what we're playing here in Seattle, and I'd love to hear feedback, ideas, or suggestions, and I'm sure this format is going to evolve over time. I think that it also could easily become as popular, if not more popular, than EDH over time as a casual format. So let's jump right into the rules. There's some minor differences between EDH. The first big one is that your commander is a planeswalker, and this also means that you can't put planeswalkers inside your deck. You can only have a commander, uh, a planeswalker at, as the commander. Uh, this also gets rid of the legend rule, or the planeswalker rule specifically for commanders. So two people could, for example, play um, Tamiyo or Soren Markov or Jace as long as they only have the single commander in their deck. We're using 80 card decks at this point, and part of that is due to the limited pool of cards that we're using instead of 100 card decks. I think over time I can see an argument for moving it up to 100 just for consistency with EDH. It is a singleton format also, and the cards that we're using are Lorwyn Forward and Multiplayer Sets. Now that may seem a little bit abstract, and why Lorwyn? Well, Lorwyn is really where the Planeswalkers were first introduced, and from that point on, that was a huge shift in Magic, adding this major new permanent type. It also adds some nice flavor to the format. One of the reasons I really like this format is that I did not play during most of these sets. I had stopped playing online at Kamigawa, and I had stopped playing physical cards well before this, back in Tempest. So all of these sets at this point, outside of the last few where I rejoined over here at New Phyrexia, are brand new to me, and this has been a great way for me to learn each of the cards here. So Lorwyn, Morning Tide, Shadowmore, Eventide, Shards of Alarm, Conflux, Alarm Reborn, Zendikar, World Wake, Rise of Eldrazi, Scars of Mirrodin, and Mirrodin Besieged are all new to me as a player, and I love getting an introduction to these older cards that I never got a chance to draft or build decks with. And also, a lot of these cards don't end up making it into EDH decks, because compared to Legends or Dark or some of the older cards, they're just not as powerful, and the limited format really gives exposure to these. Also, we're currently playing with any of the multiplayer cards that are out there. Arch Enemy, Planes, Chase, or Commander. Any deck that was made for multiplayer, we're using those cards. Now, those tend to have a few of the more broken cards in them in the environment currently, which I'll probably talk about in a deck tech video later, but the this gives a nice mix to cards, and the decks are pretty original. They're very different than what you see in other formats. The one thing that we're not allowing, that I'm advocating that we should allow, is the Planeswalker Dual Decks. The Planeswalker Dual Decks seems like a great little gateway drug into Planeswalker EDH, because they come with two Planeswalkers and decks built to support them. Uh, I think that we should add these over time, and I'm advocating for that currently, but right now we're not, and the only argument that I've heard against it is that a few of these cards were meant to reprint to make them more accessible in Modern, which is a longer, larger back format, or even Legacy. Although, compared to some of the cards printed in Commander at this point, I, I don't think any of them are overpowered, at least the Planeswalker dual decks, the ones that are headed by Planeswalkers. Now, the ban list is extremely short at this point, because we're just playtesting it for fun. Emrakul is on there. Emrakul is just broken. Any format where you have 40 life, it's way too easy to combo him out. And Iona, Shield of Emria is out. And the reason for this is many of the decks just don't have a 
possible way to deal with her and their single color decks because most of the planeswalkers are single color a few of them are multicolor, but you don't see the three four five color decks as often outside of your nickel bullis so iona is just too powerful in the format currently outside of that everything else is in and some differences you'll notice in the format is there's no massive land destruction, the way that you have Armageddon in the standard environment. You also don't have some of the clearly overpowered cards, such as Mana Drain or Tabernacle of Pendle Vale, which are beautiful, fun little EDH cards, but a bit on the overpowered side otherwise. So this has been the rules for Planeswalker EDH. My name is Brian Rout. I'm available on Twitter at Sartreus and on YouTube at Mythic MTG Tech. Please feel free to give me any feedback, ideas, or comments. Also, anything over even how the video is produced. This is one of three different programs that I'm using to try to put together videos. I'd love to hear ideas or tips on how these can be done better. Thanks.